Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. In today's video, I will be going over um, Substratum and running a test node. Um, if you're not familiar with Substratum, let's go to their website. Substratum is basically a cryptocurrency project that aims to decentralize the web. And you can find more about the project at substratum.net. Of course, it's not going to work right now. And then, um, and I'll, I'll put some links in the description. But anyway, I've already configured this computer for the substratum node, and um, I'm just going to go over some things um, that that um, I ran into while installing it. So. First thing I downloaded the node now. Um, they do ask to not give the links. I guess they give each tester a unique link to the node, uh, to the software uh, for control purposes. So then they do ask not to uh, give out the links to so that they can keep track of it. So um, I've downloaded the node and I've extracted the single file in that in that zip that they gave to this folder, which is C substratum and node. So what they required though is before doing so, they, they required to change the DNS settings and I'll show you over here. So if we go to ethernet and then change adapter, adapter options. As you can see, there's this little, it says no internet access here. So while there is, there's, it doesn't have DNS right now because um, according in the instructions, we are told to set the DNS server instead of automatic to 127.0.0.1. Now, they said in the future that that won't be necessary, but for this phase of the testing, they ask us to change those settings. So while we may not have, while this is showing that we don't have internet, let's test to see if we can ping out to a public IP. So we do have internet, it's just no DNS. So we can ping out, but we can't um, resolve any DNS names. So if I go to pinggoogle.com, it won't resolve. So that's the very first thing they ask us to do, is change the IPv4. Now IPv6 was enabled on this computer, but I did disable it because they did not give, um, like if I check it, and then code properties. Um, they did not give any DNS settings for IPv6. Excuse me, I didn't want to assume that it, they meant local or if it was operational. So let's go there. So that's basically the only manual settings for uh, network settings that needs to be done when running a substrat node at this time. Now this is beta testing, so a lot can change by, before the final product comes out. So the next thing they want us to do, and, and after that, I, I rebooted the, the computer. Um, what was the other issue? Oh yeah, the other issue that I came on when running the substratum node was I got an error. Let me just type it out so you can see. The error that I got was this DLL file was missing. So to solve that issue, um, I downloaded the Visual C uh, redistributable from Microsoft site to, to get that going. So once that was downloaded and reboot, the node software did run. So I'm gonna close this up and then I'm just gonna start the task manager because I kind of want to see what kind of effect um, does this node have. And then we're gonna open a command prompt. and run it as administrator and click yes so in the instructions um, they ask us to run the the exe and we are going to do that i'm just going to change to the directory that i have it here which is c substratum and then execute the command which is I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Oops, let's do this. 
copy, hit enter. And then while that's going, I am, they ask us to, to visit three websites. I'm going to open Microsoft Edge for this test. I'm just going to move it over here. Oops, I uh, close it. I'm going to move Microsoft Edge over here so we can kind of keep an eye on things. As you can see, it won't reach um, msn.com. So the very first thing they ask us to test is HTTP colon HTTP bin dot org. And we are able to get there. The next thing they ask us to test is www, well, let's do HTTP. They, they did not want us to test any HTTPS sites. www dot rr R G G G B B B dot com. And we are able to get there. And the last site is HTTP colon www dot falling falling dot com. And we got this substratum network problem. Not sure what that means, but that's probably some a feedback that I will include. And just for kicks, we are going to try the exact same thing with Chrome. So HTTP colon HTTP bin dot org. Oh, subshadow network problem. I wonder. If it's the same on Edge. Looks like it's not going right now, so it looks like there's some stability issues. Let's see if I can still ping. I can. Let's see if I can ping HTTP bin. I can. So it's pingable, and let's let's just try the other ones. HTTP colon www dot dot com. That works. Or hopefully it's not cached. Refresh. Let's go to here. That works. Okay. And then let's go to the last one. HTTP colon www.fallingfalling.com That seems to we'll go back and forth It seems to kind of just not completely load I'm just going to try it on my other computer just to make sure Yeah, it loads properly on my other computer but doesn't seem to load properly here and let's just try to ping it. Ping www.fallingfalling.com. We are able to ping it. And it just doesn't render, I, I guess. It's just not rendering properly. And let's try the other ones. So anyway, this is basically my very first test, um, and that is all they asked for in the, this very first set of uh, in their very first set of instructions. Um, I'm pretty sure as uh, feedback and time has gone by, and as they take the feedback, they hopefully they'll send some uh, an updated. Uh, executable with some updated instructions to do further testing based upon this feedback. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching.